Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. I know some of you afternoon and early Sunday morning to you guys as well. Uh, so this morning, I'm very excited about opening up this live unboxing uh, cups from 8 ounce coffee supplies. Uh, 8 ounce coffee supplies from Canada. And they are, uh, they are the exclusive supplier for the uh, Acme cups in North America. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in uh, their cups after this, uh, I'm going to put the link down below. So make sure to check them out as well. I'm going to shout out to Diane from 8 Ounce, 8 Ounce Coffee Supply. I reached out to her a couple of weeks ago. She was gracious enough to send me some sample pack here. So thank you, Diane and 8 Ounce Coffee. Oh, anyway, so this morning, so let's unbox this. Okay. By the way, I love cups, okay? You may, got, you may already know, but people, some people collect cars. I know some people like to you know, collect purse, shoes, but for me, it's like, I love cups, especially high quality cups. So I'm really excited to share that with you. All right, so let's open this thing up, okay? So packaged really well. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm not going to rip it. So I'm just going to open gently as possible. Okay. There we go. So let's see, they sent me a uh, quite a few cups here so let's take a look okay let's take a look at cups oh, please leave me on the comment if you what is your favorite cups to use in the morning so we got we got one okay two let's see here I got something here By the way, the Christmas is uh, right around the corner, especially all the holidays. And so, I mean, if you guys are looking for gift giving ideas, gift ideas, definitely check out cups. Okay. All right. Man, they're packaged really well. I'm pretty impressed. Really impressed. I mean, they, you know, I mean, again, I mean, you cannot. Yeah, I mean, this is really nice, how, how they packed. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. All right, so let's start with this. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see, this is uh, sour cell. Yeah, all right, let's take a look. No, <laughs> how do you say it? SARS, the plate thing. Sars? Sars? Sars. Okay. So, hold on. My, my wife is making fun of me with, with my accent, okay? I, she said I can't even pronounce saucer. I think it's saucer, right? Saucer, saucer. I say saucer, I think. All right, okay. Okay, so they have a different size, okay? Different size of saucer. Like one, two, and three. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, this is a lot of fun to do it though, okay? The unboxing cup is one of my favorite activities. So, okay, so let's open up this one. Okay. Okay, so we have more saucer. Okay. Ah, okay, so we have different colors this time. Because I told them to just send me whatever they have on stock, you know. They're overstock stuff, so. Because I'm not that picky with the colors. Okay, so we have one, 
You got blue. Two, three. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, and then, so this is the, all the cups, okay? Let's take a look. So Acme and Company, uh, packaged pretty nicely. Okay, so this is uh, most likely the, uh, let's say, espresso cup here. Like so, it has the uh, Acme logo on the bottom. So go like this, like that. This looks nice. Okay, the second one. This is more like a small cappuccino size of it. Actually, more like Cortado size, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice, like so. Okay. We got two. This is also a blue one, okay. Uh, so this is more like cappuccino size. Okay. Okay, what are the other side? Oh, you know what? Never mind. So, okay. So this one goes, to, uh, goes with this saucer right here. So I got white and blue. Okay, there we go. And then... So this is, ah, okay, so this is more like Cortado size, right here, the smaller size. Okay, so let's see, I think we have one more, okay. So this is like a latte size. All right, so I think we have, let's take a look. So we have latte, so this is more like small, small latte. Uh, regular latte size, different cup size there, goes here, like so. I feel like I'm missing one, one more. Hold on. Um, uh, maybe not, I think that's it. I think they sent me extra uh, saucer, okay. I mean, overall it looks fantastic, okay. Hold on, never mind. I need to open this. Okay, so this. Here we go. So this is more like, uh, I think they have a different name for that. I believe this is Roman cup and so here we go. So this is way it lays out like this. So, so let me show you the closer look. Let me show the closer look here. I mean, overall the beer quality is fantastic. Especially these ones here, a very nice ceramic build, beautiful logo on the bottom. Uh, the thing is, I mean, so with an, uh, like cups like not neutral or fellow copy products, I mean, you can get it from Amazon, but with Acme cups, I think only place you can get from is place like eight ounce coffee supply. And I believe uh, elsewhere in U.S. might sell this, but I mean, overall, this is really, really nice to hold and very thick. I bet you it's going to be really nice to drink out of it as well. I mean, again, I mean, so this is a large uh, latte cup there. So since we have these beautiful cups, uh, you know what, let's make some drink, okay? I'm thinking let's make a small latte. Uh, it'd be good. So let's, actually this is more like cappuccino size. So let's do small cappuccino. 
Yes, I think uh, I think one of our viewers said, yeah, uh, Seattle Cuff Gear sells as well. So, but uh, if you guys are in Canada, definitely check out the eight ounce coffee supplies. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna make two two coffee. Okay, let's do let's do shot of espresso, and then let's do latte. Yeah, let's do small uh, small cappuccino. It'd be fun to do. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so I'm going to clear some space. Okay, so today, so yesterday we were using the beans from uh, Australia. The Dane sent us, what, I think it's seven bags. So we tried the market lane yesterday. So this morning I'm going to try. Okay. It's called Cold Black Coffee Roaster in uh, Australia. It's called Ex-Wife. So let's try the Ex-Wife. I wonder if it's going to be bitter, perhaps. I don't know. So, so let's try that. So let's try the ex-wife this morning. And then let's clear some space. I'm, meantime, I'm just going to wash my cup for a quick second here. Which size do you use for latte and cappuccino? Which size? Okay, so cappuccino, I like to use about six ounce cup for cappuccino. And then with the latte, you know, between, you know, all depends. Like some people like to do between eight and 12 ounces. The fact is, you know, it's all up to you. Okay. I mean, there's no, I mean, since we are making it at home, I mean, it's whatever you want to be, you know, if you want to, I know some people likes to use like even 16 ounces. Okay. It's a big latte cup with lots, you know, uh, lots of milk. So it's all up to you. But nice thing about this cups, I mean, you can actually make the proper, the measurement. So usually you get about between like 30, I like to do one to two ratio of espresso. And then put, you know, maybe like, like three times more on milk base, even two times more, depend on the what kind of coffee drink you're gonna get. So, I mean, it's all up to you. And just have fun with it. Somebody said to heat it up because the heat goes out of them quickly. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna uh, heat up the cup before. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna heat up my cups. I'm just going to make some space. I'm heating up the cup for a second. Okay. We're gonna start with espresso. Okay, these cups are very elegant and somewhat similar to not neutral, but in a completely different way. So, I mean, again, I mean, I, I think uh, not neutral cup is one of my favorite cups out there and then uh, f followed by fellow, but man, the, so this is the first time I'm using Acme cups. The way it feels, actually it's pretty nice, really nice. Okay. Somebody said the Okay, so this morning, uh, you know what? I'm I'm just going to use I'm just gonna use the built-in grinder. Okay, I think I save us some time to do it. So let's do built-in grinder. And then so I'm right now I'm currently setting at number eight. So let's see how it goes. Okay, let's smell the coffee first. Wow, it smells. Okay, so this is roasted on August. Hold on a second. Okay, it's August 10th, but I think it might be October 8th. Okay, I know you, my friends in Australia, you guys put the date first, right? And then month later. I mean, correct me, I'm wrong, because in the United States, we put month and day followed by year. And I think this is roasted on August 8th, instead of uh, uh, the October 8th, not the August 8th. I'm pretty sure. They do date, yep. month, year. I mean, you guys do date first. You know what is it? Okay, so I think it's some, okay, so. You said you're aware that that's meant to be slightly bitter flavor profile is roasted macadamia, dark chocolate, amaretto, caramel, and cocoa finish. 
Okay, so uh, according to Dane, so this one's supposedly a little bitter, okay? With the macadamia, um, yeah, dark, chocolate. dark chocolate flavor, somewhat bitter, just like, you know, ex-wife. Yeah, with the cocoa finish, so it makes sense for the, the ex-wife, the bitter taste. But I wonder if we can make it a little sweeter. Okay, so, so this morning I'm going to use 17 gram, like always. Okay. So whenever I get new beans, I just like get a handful of beans and just put it into the hopper. Kind of like recycle it from yesterday's. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do again 17 gram. I actually, you know, let's do 17.5. Yeah, let's do 17.5. If you haven't used with the scale, you know what? If you haven't, uh, get one. Okay, it makes it a lot easier to dial in, uh, dial in your espresso, a lot easier. So, okay, so my 3D dosing funnel here to use. Okay. By the way, today's in Tucson. We got somewhat overcast. Uh, look like it's gonna rain in Tucson. So I'm gonna be start timing it when first drop hits. So I'm looking for around, around between 20 and 20, maybe like 25 and 30 second range there. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Just distribute and just gently temp. Okay. I'm just going to flush one more time. By the way, if you guys are curious about election in the United States, we still don't know who the winner is. I know people are anxious to find that, but okay, meantime, we're going to have some good coffee this morning. Okay. I'm just gonna set it. Okay, so let's, so this is first shot using uh, the ex-wife. Okay, I'm gonna stop at around 34 gram. Okay, shot looks good. Okay, about 36 gram, around 30, what, 24 seconds. So this is when you, when uh, first drop hits. So it looks really good. Very dark. Mm -hmm, it's definitely dark, yeah. I wonder if we're gonna get the dark chocolate flavor there, so. Let's taste that first. Okay. I'm gonna get a spoon. I mean, again, I mean, it just looks, it's cool, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna stir it really well. Cheers. Okay, smells really nice. Yes, definitely dark, dark chocolate. Let's see, macanilla nuts. I haven't tasted it yet, hold on. 
it's bitter but sweet. Okay, definitely bitter but sweet. You know, we got lucky uh, at first time there. The shot looks really good. I mean, taste. If you guys like good espresso, it's nothing like you know using freshly roasted coffee and just freshly roasted ground is fantastic. Okay, and especially with an, a nice cup like this, it just makes kind of like more enjoyable. Let's put it that way. It's really good. Fantastic. Um, where did you get this spoon? Someone asked me about my long spoon, okay? So this, I got this spoon from Amazon. And then the reason I got this because I was making a lot of iced coffee for my boys. So, I mean, I need that spoon at the time. But, so whenever I reach my drill, so this one, I usually grab this. So, uh, just get from Amazon, get a, I mean, ideally you want to get a shorter one, but this one, I mean, just like to use it but okay so next next thing or uh, next one i'm gonna make is let's make latte okay the small i think this is more like small latte size so let's make small latte and then i'm gonna be using let's see here i'm gonna be using oat milk again because i'm ran out, out of a uh, whole milk so i'm gonna be using uh, minor figures of milk okay so let's make that right now so I don't know how many cups you guys are making in the morning. I mean, for my household, I make about four coffees every morning. Uh, let's say I make for myself, my wife, and my two boys. And then again, just puck it, just... So whenever I use freshly roast coffee, using it, just puck just came right off. Uh, plus, they are using the, the three-way solenoid valve, so plus the uh, Brista Express use the back flush, so suck, the, all the, suck out all the water first. That's pretty handy. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to use the exactly same setting right now. So theoretically, next shot is going to be similar to last shot around 24 seconds or so but the one downside of using Brista Express is consistency so we'll see how it goes with our second shot here meantime I'm gonna flush my cup what? so Dane, uh, Dane asked me do I like the market blend so we tried the um, we tried the market lane yesterday with this called seasonal espresso. Personally, I like this one better than ex-wife because, so this one is really smooth, okay? So smooth, I really like that very much. And the uh, ex-wife, I'm not a big fan of that bitter sweet taste. So, I mean, but I know some of you out there love that flavor, okay? So it's bitter, but it's not the bitter as you think of. It's bitter but in a sweeter way so what water do you use in your machine which one what what kind of water do you use? uh someone asked me what kind of water i use water from my refrigerator so they're filter water so the key is you need to drink uh you need to use good water for coffee okay so i highly not highly not recommend do not use the tap water Especially in Arizona, water is so hard here, so not the best. Okay, so let's make, uh, let's do cappuccino. Someone asked me to pour a heart to my ex-wife coffee, so let's see. So let's, let's do that. Again, I'm going to do 17.5 gram. Okay, there we go. Okay.
uh, again, I mean, even the built-in grinder is not that consistent with the grinder size, but overall, give you pretty decent results, okay? I mean, for most of us, built-in grinder is just fine. Mm -hmm. it's 479 right now with the coupon. By the way, someone uh, just told me that if you are living in the uh, US, uh, the Bath and, Bath and Beyond selling Brista Express for 479 after, uh, after the 20% off coupon. So make sure to check it out, okay? 479 is a fantastic deal. That's really amazing deal for the machine. Plus, we got the Black Friday deals coming up, so make sure definitely watch out, okay? All right, so we, it's going to be the identical setting as the last time. Everything is all the same. Same grinder setting. Uh, inside is number five. Outside is at number eight. All the same setup there. So let's pull the shot. But you know what? Hold on. I'm going to get my milk ready. Because I don't want to waste my time. Because the steam takes about about 50 seconds or so. So I got my oat milk ready to go. Okay. Um, Brista Express or Breville Double Boiler with good grinder? Okay, someone asked me about the Brista Express or Dual Boiler with a good grinder. You know what, Let, I'm gonna cover that after this. Okay, here we go. I'm looking for 34 gram, around 34 gram there. Okay, I got about, uh, I got 34 gram and 26 seconds overall. So this is decent shot, as you can see. <clears throat> Very rich, beautiful crema there. Okay. So let's start uh, steam some milk. Okay, here we go. Just gonna turn it on. Right now. Okay, you have to wait a little bit. So that's one downside of it. If you're using Brista Express Pro, that kicks right in, so, but, here we go. Once I hear the pump going, I'm gonna shut it up for a sec and simmer. And I'd like to introduce about five seconds of air first. And then I'm going to submerge the steam one underneath the milk, kind of like circular motion, trying to create the microphone. And then when milk is ready, you can tear by, you cannot touch it anymore because it's too hot. I think that's a good time to stop. I mean, we have a debate about, so you wanna pull the shot first or you're gonna steam the milk first. But I prefer pull the shot first. Let me know what you guys think about it. Okay, milk is almost ready. Here we go. And then I like to wipe it clean as soon as and flush it. Okay, so let's do some latte art here. Here we go. Okay. Some uh, almost there. Shot looks good. Let's see here. I mean, overall, I mean, it looks really nice. Here, let me give you guys a close look. 
The milk looks good. I mean, just nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's nicely formed milk. So let's try. Okay, let's taste the our uh, cappuccino. Oh yeah, it is broken heart look like, isn't it? Okay. Cheers. You know what? I try, let's say, Oatly, uh, Brista Oat Milk. I tried the Calafé. And then this one is a Minor Figures. I think, I felt like the Minor Figure has a better flavor than the other two. So if, uh, let me know what you guys think about the Oat Milk. What is your favorite? So this is it's quite nice. Okay, really nice. Okay, so what sometimes what I like to do is I like to just put one teaspoon of sugar. I like to I prefer just a pure cane sugar. And then just just like one scoop of sugar to make the you know coffee a little sweeter. Okay. Because my favorite drink is usually like you know long black or americano, but with the latte or milk-based drink, I I want to be a little sweeter. So let's try one more time. Yes, definitely. Let's see. So I mean, overall, this Acme cups. Okay. So th this is somewhat biased review. Because the first part, I like the cups very much. And uh, I think Acme Cup is, because I did a lot of research before I reached out to the uh, eight ounce coffee supplies. Because, so non neutral cups, well known, okay? Those guys make fantastic coffee. Acme Cups, I think if you are in the coffee industry, the way they build, how sturdy they are, this is fantastic cups to serve at home. I mean, in, anywhere. And they also we got the fellow coffee product makes those uh, Monte cups. They're also fantastic as well. So uh, let's see what else is going on. You were going to talk about the double boiler. Oh, yes. Uh, someone asked me earlier, double boiler with a good grinder versus Brista Express. Okay. If you have the money, go with the double boiler with a nicer grinder. But if money is an issue, I go with Brista Express. Okay. Because... The built-in grinder is good enough to you know make good coffee and plus the price is wonderful too i mean like earlier a uh, viewer told me that what around 479 so you're under 500 dollars with their coupon so i mean that's like no brainer i mean they're really really good price so anyway so by the way i am getting the new coffee machine uh, a coming week okay because actually, I almost bought one yesterday. I saw on Craigslist in Arizona, in Tucson, Craigslist, some gentleman is selling his Rancheria or Serbia for around 450 bucks. And then I asked him more question about it. It's about 10 years old. And, uh, and that's too old for that. So I, I just rather get a new one. So hopefully, it should come on sometime this week. So I can wait to share that with you. And then it's going to be a lot of fun to do unboxing on that because I never bought brand new. Okay, because of my, uh, my last uh, Rancheria was, I know some of you saw the video, I bought used one as well, I bought from eBay. So buying a used hit and miss, but so this is brand new one. I'm really excited to share. And then what else is going on? Uh, I got some more unboxing coming, uh, coming week, and then uh, watch out for that. And then, uh, what, what else? Oh, by the way, ex-wife coffee, if you guys like the somewhat bitter taste, this is fantastic, okay? If you like the bitter side of it. And then, uh, so espresso is wonderful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Someone asked me mocha latte, which means chocolate. You know what? Uh, since we have time, Saturday and all. I don't know if it is. Is it? I think mocha latte is the, just a coffee with the chocolate. 
So what I'm going to do is, I do have cafe mocha. Let's see here. So I'm looking at, I'm in my pantry right now. I'm looking for some chocolate. But unfortunately, which one? This one? And then I'm look, still looking at this one. And then my wife told me that we have chocolate, so I'm looking for chocolate chips so we can make actually real ch chocolate. Hold on here. I do have chocolate syrup, so I do have this. So, and then so let's do make a wait latte with chocolate syrup. Okay, so I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using big latte cup here. Okay, hold on a second. Say that again. You know what? I do have some uh, espresso left. And then let's make this one with Americano right now. So I'm just going to use my... Actually, you know what? Let's use... Uh, let's see. Americano with this cup right here. Okay. I'm just going to wash this cup first. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna be using water from the Brista Express. Ian, can you shut the blinds? I told my son to shut the blinds because I'm in the kitchen right now, so the lighting is not the best. So, hold on, here we go. So this is, I, I got some espresso left. So I'm gonna make Americano out of it. I mean, long black, so let's see here. Let's try this. But once you mix it with the hot water, even though there was a little, or it's about what, five minutes old, but it should be okay. So let's try the Americano with ex-wife. You know what? Wow. I can taste the mac and the onion nut now. It's really good. Fantastic. It's not that bitter though. Okay, with a long block mixed with hot water, obviously. Very smooth. Yeah, I like it very much. Yeah, this is really nice. This is fantastic. Okay. Somebody asked, did they adjust the inverse set to five or let it be in six? Okay, someone asked me about the inner burst set. Uh, is number five, uh, number six is the factory. Okay, and I changed to number five. Okay, at this time, hold on a sec. So I'm gonna be using all the cups here. So this is the Americano. Look like my son wants some coffee, so I'm gonna hand it to him. Thank you. Okay, so let's make this. I'm gonna heat up the cup first. So we're gonna be using uh, mocha, uh, using chocolate syrup. I mean, if you haven't tried it yet, they're fantastic, okay? If you guys like the sweet, the, the mocha flavor, ideally you wanna use the real chocolate, but you know, chocolate syrup should be good enough. Okay, so let's make this. I'm just gonna lock it in. Exactly same process. I'm gonna be using 17.5 gram. Okay, here I go. By the way, I, I hope you guys are staying safe. 
in your area. All right, here I go. So this is our, it's gonna be our third shot here. So let's see, got my 3D dosing funnel. Someone asked me about the pumpkin spice latte. I think we're gonna do a pumpkin spice latte coming way, okay? Because I did a, the fresh pumpkin spice latte recipe, so that was really good. So what I'm gonna do is right now, someone asked me about the recipe. I don't have a recipe for that one. Uh, someone asked me about the recipe. I don't have a recipe. I just, just measure it and, but I'm gonna work on that for you guys, okay. So, so comes to how much chocolate syrup you guys want. Uh, you know what? I like to use, hold on. I like to use about 30 gram, okay? So 30 gram give you nice and sweet. The 30 gram sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's only this much, that's it. Okay, so. I'm gonna prepare the puck here. So this time I'm gonna be using, you know what, let's do manual mode on this one. Let's do manual mode. From here, I'm just gonna lock it in. Okay, if you haven't used manual mode, so simply hold down the Single or double button doesn't make any difference. Just hold it down. Start the pre-infusion. Whenever you see the first drop. I like to let it go. And then whenever you see 34, 35 gram, just hit it one more time to stop. From here, just simply stop. Okay, took me about 18 seconds there, okay, at 36 gram. So with, since I did a pretty long pre-infusion, so, so if you count the time, that looks about right, okay. So next thing we're gonna do, since we are doing the mocha, I don't wanna use a, or milk for that. I'm going to be using, let's see, since we don't have a whole milk, we're gonna use half and a half. So, so if you have issues with the dairy, stay away from half and a half. So, I mean, thing is that I'm kind of like lactose intolerance. So I cannot have too much dairy. So I'm just gonna have one sip. Okay, I'm just gonna switch out my milk jug here. So this is a milk jug from uh, Little GB from Australia, so. Okay, from here. This is really, really rich. Oh my goodness. We got half and a half. We got mocha. We got 30 grams of chocolate. We got the really... Okay, here we go. Let's do one more time. Actually, we might need more half and a half. That's large latte cup, so. Okay. Okay, here I go. So this is great for desserts, okay? Dessert coffee. Definitely you don't want to drink that, you know, first thing in the morning. It's definitely not the best. It's not the best for you, let's put it that way. I 
Okay, so, so again, one downside of Bristol Express is the steaming power. But, I mean, beginners like us, I mean, it's not a bad thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. Milk is almost ready. I think there's a special name for that if you're using half and a half. It's called what, bread bread or something? Yeah. Okay. Milk is ready. Again, you want to wipe it clean and flush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the chocolate first. What? So half and a half, is that easier to make microfoam? You know what? I don't know. It's not really. For my case, I mean, it could be my technique as well, so. Okay. Here we go. So let's do some latte art here. Okay. Yeah, so this is not exactly. I mean, it looks okay. But the real question is the taste, okay? As long as it tastes good, I mean, you know, looks doesn't really matter. So, cheers. Wow. This is amazing, okay? If you haven't tried with, so I use 30 grams of chocolate. So half and a half is there just fantastic, okay? Fantastic. So if you haven't tried, try it at home tonight, uh, not tonight, but maybe tomorrow morning, you guys. If, you're, if you guys in the morning, try that, okay? Smooth, man. They're fantastic, fantastic. Okay, anyway, so I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like it, just make sure to thumbs up for me as well. Again, uh, I got some more machine. I'm getting a new machine next week. I can't wait to share that with you. And what else? What else is new? Uh, I'm, I'm planning on, on make a video about kind of like the uh, holiday gifts idea. I mean, again, like start with, if you guys are looking for cups, make sure to check out the, the Acme cups from 8 ounce uh, coffee supply. Those guys are great to work with. And then uh, I'm planning on make some, you know, kind of uh, holiday gifts idea. So it'd be lots, lots of fun. But again, if you have time, just try, definitely try making the mocha latte using half and a half. They're fantastic. Look, uh, any questions look like, okay. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And then and tomorrow Sunday. So I'm, I'm going to see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to come up to something. And then see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well.